Hey guys, it's me, Nia MUA, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a whole like skincare routine. No, wait. So today we're gonna be focusing just on my summertime skincare routine, just because um summer is basically here. When I was in Miami, I like was shook because my makeup was lasting me so long and over there it's like 80 plus degrees. Um, so it's like when it's that hot and you're feeling like you're melting, your makeup should be melting with you, right? No, um, al contrario, conmigo, like mi maquillaje me duró todo el día. Um, I just wanted to like show you guys step by step on how I do my skin routine for the summer just because, you know, I want to hook it up with some tips. I want to show you guys what to do because we all gonna be looking like some boss ass bitches this summer. We're gonna have some good ass skin. It's gonna be a great summer this year, so let's get started. Yeah, I still look good. Yeah. I wish I would have filmed the eye look because that I did my eyebrows and this eye look like I look little by little just because I've been working today I had clients back to back and I like started on my eyebrows and I was like I was looking a little crazy I had my curling rods in and everything and when my clients would come I bet they thought that I was catfish as fuck because I look catfish as fuck they're looking a little crazy because you have dark eyebrows and like fallout everywhere so I bet my clients really thought that I look catfish basically everything that goes on your skin you need it to be matte because if you don't use a matte primer a matte foundation it's just gonna go all bad especially in the summer i'm gonna be using this pore eraser primer and it's a mattifying base skin smoothing lightweight and it's by italia deluxe and it looks a little like this if you're from here southwest detroit i got this at the beauty supply on burner it's called bella beauty bella beauty co or something like that and it was just 3.98 so you guys need to get your hands on this primer. It's so affordable and it's so bomb. So I'm going to start with this primer and I'm going to be putting this all over my face basically. So I focus it wherever you have pores. But to be honest, I just put it all over my face. I need to clean this off. They're the swatches when I ask my clients like, do you like this lipstick or that lipstick better? For foundation, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline foundation and it's uh, the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation and it's pretty matte so like I said before, you guys should stick to all matte products and this foundation is in the shade 120. I'm gonna pump this in the back of my hand. So Miami was so fun guys, like I cannot wait for my next vacation which is gonna be next month. I'm gonna be going to LA, California. So if you guys are from LA, let me know down below because I wanna meet you guys. I made some friends in Miami, it was so fun. Like, I love the vibe over there. Literally do you and nobody really judges you. And I feel like everyone's kinda like half naked over there. So it's like all cool if you like salir, you know, casi encuerada. But like, aquí si sales con like a two piece, like te ven así como que like, y esta que trae. <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable like leaving my house like in a two-piece here like a two-piece like what I mean like like my boobs all out and like some shorts or something like I don't feel comfortable doing that here where I live but like in Miami though like you can fat it up and be totally fine nobody cares and I love the fact that nobody knows me over there but um I enjoyed my little mini vacation um it was so short though I can't wait, I cannot wait for California and then I want to go to New York after that. Um, every, I feel like every weekend when my son is uh, with his dad, I'm going to be traveling. That's my goal. For the longest now, I've been using uh, this brush which is the Real Techniques Bluffing Brush. If you guys can get your hands on this brush, I highly recommend it for your foundation. It works so good. Damn, Casper got nothing on me today. Using the LA Girl 
Pearl Concealer and I'm gonna be using the shade Beautiful Bronze. I feel like I used to do this part lower. I used to cut it right here. Put it a little higher just to give to just to give the illusion that your cheekbones are a little higher, you know. And then we gotta make sure to get the papada. So I just did those two lines right there. To blend out the contour, I use this brush right here. It's a crown brush and we got it in BoxyCharm. So I pat it in first. working with this concealer you want to work a little fast because it does dry up pretty quickly the reason why I do my contour first and then the highlight is because if you get too messy with the contour you can always clean it up with the highlight so when you blend this part make sure to bring it all the way back here where this bone right here is just so you can make it more sharp so then for my nose, I'm going to be using this Morphe E55 brush. I feel like I don't do much contour to my nose. I just literally do those two lines, blend it out. I feel like what makes a huge difference is when you highlight your nose um, and you use a little small detailed brush and it makes the biggest difference. It makes your nose look so much smaller. With my beauty blender, I go in and make sure that everything is blended out really nicely. Okay, so for concealer, I've been loving the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. I love it to cut the crease. Um, I carve my eyebrows with it. You have to work really, really fast with it because it does dry super, super quick because it is really matte. I used this when I was in Miami and guys, uh, I would like go outside and I'd be like feeling like I'm melting, but my makeup was still looking amazing it's just the whole routine that makes it stay well but the concealer is really good because even after i wash my face like when i wash my eyeshadow you can still see like some of my concealer on my eyes and it's like you know like the concealer is really really good it actually stays on and it does its job i would not use this like if i had dry skin because it is really really matte well i just don't recommend it if you do have dry skin but if you do want to use it if you do have dry skin just make sure to prep your face really well you need a hydrating primer and a hydrating foundation in order for it to work well on your skin i work by sections so i am gonna just do this eye first It is so full coverage, it's ridiculous. Like, I am shook by this concealer. And it's just, what, $6 or something like that? Or $4? I think it's like 6 to be honest. Man, like, I was working today and I just start working and my nose starts running. Like, I don't understand why that happens to me literally all the time. Like, like estoy bien mocosa, I'm like... It's not that like I'm sick, it's just that my nose just starts running when, whenever I start doing makeup. I do not know why. Did I even tell you guys the shade of this concealer? It's in the shade Medium Sand. I always use the tip of my beauty blender on this part. And then when I'm about to do this part down here, I go with the bigger part of my beauty blender and blend that part out. I am so impressed that there's so many people that don't know that your beauty blender has to be wet before using it and my friend didn't know that and that like when I told her about it she's like oh my god it explains so much and I'm just like what like you like you never wet your beauty blender before applying your foundation like what but um ever since I told her about it she's like it's been a game changer for her so yes guys wet your beauty blender before using it and I promise you guys it makes the biggest difference I highlighted my face right here on my chin and my forehead. 
I'm gonna be using the Airspun Loose Powder in the shade Honey Beige. I took the stopper off, way easier to just dip your beauty blender in there and use it. Um, other than when you have the stopper, it's just so much harder and so much more messier. So if you haven't taken off the stopper from your setting powder, you guys should definitely try that. Helps your nose look a little more snatched, so I make the line really crisp right here. Just like that. So you want to bake wherever you get smile lines, wherever you get oily. So I get smile lines and I crease down here a little bit so that's where I'm baking. I seem to apply a little more baking powder when it's summertime because it just prevents you from getting oily. Um, the one place I do get a little oily is like right here on my forehead. So that's where I just, whenever I don't have a lot of um, powder in my, my beauty blender, I just like press it into my skin. My beauty blender barely has any product left in it, so that's why I'm pressing all of this into my skin right now. To bronze, I'm going to be using the Hoola by Benefit Bronzer right here. You want to focus the brush back here when you have the most product in it first, and then you want to start blending it out. And you want to bring it down. I'm gonna cut my contour and I like to use this sponge instead with the like flat side. I think that's so satisfying. And then I always like curve it. I used to just go like this guys. This way it makes your face look a little longer. While I'm baking I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eyes and I'll be right back. I'm just gonna dust off most of it with a big fluffy brush. And as you can tell, I'm still a little white because I didn't take all of it off. So I'm gonna grab my sponge and my Mario Badescu cucumber water. I spray my beauty blender and I melt everything into the skin. I swear by this because this helps so much. If you don't bake, it makes the biggest difference on your makeup and how much it lasts and how matte it lasts. For highlight, I'm gonna be using this Milani highlighter in the shade Sun Glow. I always wet my brush and I wet my face. I'm using the Morphe E61 brush. Okay, so before I even do my nose highlight, I'm gonna do my blush because I always put blush on my nose. And for blush, I'm gonna be using the Sweet Peach Glow by Too Faced. And for my brush, I'm using the Morphe 462 brush. Whenever you smile and you see the apples of your cheeks, you wanna focus the product, oh, look funny. <laughs> So you want to focus the products on the apples of your cheeks first. And then I put them on my nose. And then on my chin. And then I just, like, whenever it doesn't have a lot of product in it, I just touch up my forehead just so I can blend out like the highlight that I put right there and it just brings more color to my face. Then you want to throw it back. 
And I always apply my highlight first and then the blush just because it just makes everything look so much smoother. You blend everything together and it looks so nice. Um, and if the highlight kind of like goes away a little bit, it's okay because when you spray your face with the setting spray, you can always just touch up your highlight when it's wet. I used to do my blush and then my highlight and I noticed that my highlight always looked really harsh. I go in and I spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and I swear by this because it actually makes your makeup like last all day and it's not you get your money's worth out of this product like I'm all for like drugstore products and all that but I will I will spend my money on this any day because it is definitely worth it makeup, the thing about me is that I never take makeup to touch up my makeup I never touch up my makeup I mean if it fucks up it just fucks up you know like I never carry anything the most I would carry is my lipstick and I always forget it so I never touch it up and I noticed that with the Urban Decay setting spray like my makeup lasts literally all day all night through the heat, through the cold, through anything. So I would get my hands on this. It's actually worth the money. I know it's expensive, guys, but you can't be greedy with it, you know? And then while my face is wet, I go in and I touch up the highlight. in with this morphe m431 brush and it's a small detail brush and i do the tip of my nose and this is what makes the illusion that your nose is really tiny and petite yeah i sprayed my um i sprayed my eyes as well and the yellow kind of like disappeared do you guys see that like right here it's like yellow and then over here looks a little like orangish I'm gonna have to touch it up. For lippy, I'm gonna be using this Nopalera Cosmetics Lippy in the shade Mazapan. Hopefully, it doesn't look too light on me. I wanna give it a chance, you know? Okay, never mind. I can't give it a chance. It's just that I put it on one of my clients and it looks so nice on them and just on me, it just, mm. Do you guys watch Jenny69? Did you guys see the video where she says that, like, this shade reminds her of, like, a pito? Like, no lie, it really does, though. Okay, so instead I'm gonna go in with my OG favorite Morphe Lippy in the shade Taunt. And I love this Lippy just because it's, like... It's just the perfect nude for me. Like it and I use it on a lot of my clients and it looks so nice on every skin tone. Like what? For lashes, I'm gonna be using these Nopalera lashes in the style gordita really love the packaging and they're pretty cute or whatever the lippy it came with like a little masapan packaging it was super cute um it's just that that shade does not look good on me and i am actually gonna go out so i don't wanna kind of like wear it for eyelash glue i'm gonna be using my kiss adhesive eyelash glue so you want to wait till the lashes get really tacky before applying them so while my lashes get dry, I'm going to be using this Beauty Bakery Mascara and it's the Eyelash Icing Black Waterproof Mascara. <sighs> Loki, I was like, does it really smell like icing? But it doesn't. <laughs> Again, you focus it in the middle and then the corners. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial on how I achieve my summer routine. Let me know down below what other kind of videos you guys are interested in. I know that my weight loss video is going to be coming soon. I know that my um, video on the story on my eye is going to be coming soon. I just need to get it together and I need to film this for you guys. So I am, I promise, I promise. 
promise, promise that I am gonna be back in my game. Um, I am back from vacation, so I am gonna be back and better than ever. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, guys. And I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time.